from Hello Radio Love to System and today I want to talk to you about the fact that the more you develop the easier you can connect with people and with more people because the truth is when we develop we actually remove boundaries that we have built throughout our years specifically if you look at how we act when we're kids there's this whole freedom that comes with being a kid that's why so many people say you can learn so much from little kids and i remember thinking like what do you mean you can learn so much from them like what have they like learned so far in their life there's so much wisdom that you gain throughout life and throughout the years you spent here but the truth is we also forget a lot of things we're blocking ourselves and you know putting just hurdles into our way into developing and being an infinite being in a way and being able to do whatever we want because if you think about it very just logically there's so much we can do uh, which we don't do like you know I could just decide today I will move to Spain I will build a business there I will change my name I will change my occupation like all those things are theoretically possible and the thing is even if I wanted them there's still like a lot of things that are keeping me from this and throughout our lives we can either build more and more of those blocks this is what happens when you see people who with time get uh, less energized like kind of like lose their drive for life and so on and we go through like life with different emotions sometimes everything goes uh, down sometimes everything goes up but mainly it's a lot of those blocks that we either develop or can just destroy and the older I get I really understand more and more what it means when we say that we can learn so much from kids we can learn that because they haven't built those blocks yet nobody has told them no yet like if they say I want to be a pink elephant and they believe they can be in big like a pink elephant and then like an adult comes and says well you cannot be because you're human that's something that puts like a block into their abundance pretty much or what they can do or what they think they can do and so the more we develop and this is what I mean the more we kind of become this being that we're actually supposed to be our truest self um, the best version of ourselves and the version that actually enjoys life because we're not meant to go through life thinking there's no purpose to our life there's no we're not meant to go through life to actually question life to actually question what is the meaning of this why am I being depressed why are things not going anywhere I think or I, like I personally completely believe that if you are on this track of growing the best you can and really becoming more and more of who you are pretty much expanding then you don't have those thoughts because you are made you know to live like there's always this notion well we're not running anymore we don't have to fight for our lives but I don't think that's the only reason why we actually question life I think we question life because we don't have this natural ease that is supposed to make us feel connected to everything and when we do we question life less and less we question if we're on the right path we question less if uh, like what is the sense of life and so on like all those things don't actually matter because we're so into this and I can tell that from experience because I have been somebody who's questioned their whole life and I've hated it and I still hate it in a way when people tell me you think too much but what has changed is I don't even think less now that I used to before but I use my thoughts now to develop more to grow more to become more of who I want to be and now coming back to this the more I become like who I am really supposed to be the less blocks I have and the less I can connect with more and more people because the thing is I have a block in place A and then I have this person that has a block in C for example and then the moment I you know I remove that block A from my system by you know understanding what that block is what I am actually doing that is counterproductive for me once I like understand what's happening there then the person who doesn't have that block A just has that block C can connect with me because as long as I have that block A I cannot really connect with that person there's always this 
thing that I'm projecting onto them that I expect, well, if I have the block A, then I expect other people to have block A. And there's always this separation. And I believe the more and more we grow into this person that we're supposed to be and being happy and being fulfilled and like, you know, expanding and kind of like wanting to express our energy, make it bigger and also help other people, you know, become their best version. The more and more, you know, we can connect with people because the more and more we have in common. Because in the end, we're all completely different beings, but we're all, you know, we all share this want and this this appreciation for life if everything is is right and how it's supposed to be and once you're like in this sphere of you know let's just say um theoretically you're in this sphere of complete oneness of complete i'm completely everything that is around me my energy things around me everything is like the same i there's no appreciation only for me. I just want life to be better. I just want everybody around me to be better and me as part of that whole thing also to feel better. Um, when The more and more you go into this sphere, the more you can connect with people and the more you want to connect with people and the more you can give. Those are like two aspects actually of play play part in it. On the one hand, you can connect because you become more and more similar because the people can connect with you in a way that you know when the more and more you you become your true self the more people can really connect with that because there's a oneness in the end that connects all of us and when we don't have those blocks or less of them you know the easier we can find to each other and the other thing is what i have seen now is i'm being way more generous and generous with my time with my energy with how much i share with people like there was always this um, thing of me not wanting to connect with people because there was so much energy that cost me that thing because there was so much boundaries I had to put up when I was with people there was so much stress that came with it that doesn't anymore and now I can tell I have so much to give I'm being more generous of course you'll find people who, who see like well in this situation you didn't do this or that I'm certain of it, you know, nobody's perfect in a way, but I can see how I've developed in this area and how I want to develop more and more. There's no, like when I have a transaction, like a business transaction or whatever kind of thing going on, there's more and more of me wanting to give more to that person. If we have like a deal, then I might even consider giving more than I actually like said I would give because I can. I know in the end I'm still going to get out like profit out of this and profit not in terms of money but in terms of energy in terms of happiness in terms of just growing growing myself and so i really wanted to point out in this video specifically that there is a possibility for us to connect with more and more people because i used to be one of those who said well i can't connect with people so much i can if i want to but it's just too much work there's too much um, I have to sacrifice in this and all these things that play a role in it and now I realize it's not actually true. The more energy I have, the less blocks I have, all these things add to me being able to connect to a broader range of people. There's more, there was more love and appreciation without any judgment and without any expectation. Like I remember thinking I was so accepting and thinking I was so open and generous but in the end I was connecting with people whose energy I wanted to have around me who I thought will you know give me the missing pieces and there were so many people I was leaving behind thinking well they can't do anything for me or I'm giving yeah I'll be giving and not getting anything in return and it's been in a lot of ways just like a wake-up call because of course I didn't go through life thinking well I just don't want to give to those people I'm better than that you know that there's nothing I can get out of it and it's not like people who I mean are mean or are using you just people that you know I didn't find like that appealing attractive and not in a physical way but just like in an energy kind of way there was always a judgment that came with it and the, the more I grow I realized that's a judgment that I had towards myself which I predict projected outside like I'm so much more open to accepting my own culture my own environment we have we had carnival this weekend here and in Cologne 
and I never really got into it. There was always some distance to, to this and the more I feel confident in who I am, the more I can really like let myself fall into this and there's so much beauty in this whole thing. There's so much connection with so many people. There's such more appreciation for so many more people and it's incredible and I never thought it would be possible. And so I now looking back at it, I realized that I was judging so much and expecting people to be a certain way because I was not being that. You know, everything we create, everything we perceive is just within our minds. There's nobody who perceives life the way you perceive it. So it's always a matter of, do I want to connect with more people? And the answer is yes, because there is beauty in each of us. There's beauty in each personality and there's so much greatness in people around us. And we kind of shut that off and, you know, don't see those things because we're not open. And the more we become open by working on being in alignment with our true self and being in alignment with what is the most profitable for us, pretty much going back to this infinite being that we were when we were kids and not letting other people tell us what to do and so on and just completely believing this is who I am, this is what I want to do and cutting like all those things out of our lives that are like pulling us down the more we can connect with people. And now when you think about it, there's a question, well, how do you do that? Because it's easier said than done, right? I mean, I can sit here and say, well, you want to grow, you want to be an infinite being, you want to feel strong and have all that energy, and then you will connect with so much more, much more people and you will give more to them and they will give more to you and you'll have so much more energy. But how do you get there? And for me, it's a lot about, as I said, working on removing those blocks. Like I'll listen to a lot of meditation on that point, you know, removing abundance blocks. I, I think about all those, like I, I read and I listen and I develop things that help me have like an energy surplus. You know, I had this video uh, on this, but it's really incredible how much more energy you can have and the more energy you can have the more you can you know give it to other people and just you know have like an entire group of people who you can pull up so there's a lot of action steps that you can take which is just a matter of habit you know you can start with gratitude journals which i have been doing for a couple months now which i love so much because the more you concentrate on the positive things the more you can really make that part of your life bigger so and the more you concentrate on the negative things the more those things will develop that's just a fact i know for sure now um i i've experienced it just so intensely that there's no way out of it for me taking those steps not only as a habit but also as a conviction of um listen i know what is going to be good for me I know that I need to concentrate on myself, on my happiness, not live in other people's worlds, as I always mention, and just make it a point. Doing those things and following certain rules because you know it's right, because you know this is what's going to happen. And the more and more you try it out, the more evident it becomes to you. Because for me, it was more like, I didn't know this is the right choice for me. I just didn't have any other. So I needed to change something. That was the only option I could see. So I started pushing myself and this is what happened. And so I really, really hope you really take the steps because it's there are a lot of different steps you can take. But it's pretty much concentrate on the positive things, doing things that are pulling you down, stop criticizing yourself, and accept like the things you want to do. Just accept them. Be okay with who you are today, not with who you want to be, who you're supposed to be, and all those things. And make it a point to really concentrate on that, to love yourself. If you don't love yourself in a way, if you don't appreciate yourself, do things like lie to yourself. Make it a point to always confirm to yourself, I like myself best because this is what you're you're at the center of your life you're supposed to be the main character of your life you know you can love your family you can love your kids you can love your community and all and everything but it all has to start with you because the way you perceive your family the way you perceive you know your your community your kids everything that all comes with you within you 
there's no objective way of viewing somebody. It's all, it always comes from your perception. So it, you have to have a great perception of yourself and of your life so you can appreciate people around you more. And that also leads to having more connection, it also opens a lot of doors for your future, for, you know, helping out and, you know, looking besides yourself and really creating something that is meaningful and brings you a lot of joy. So, uh, yeah, remember that because sometimes you just need reasons. So if you know one more reason for me to grow is that I can connect to more people and it will feel good. Because, you know, I always said, well, I can connect with people. I just don't want to. Well, if you do the right steps, you will want to. You'll see the benefit of it. It will give your life so much more meaning, so much more joy. And it's an incredible journey. And I just want you all to feel it. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any comments on this. You know, like the video if you do. And thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.